Hello and welcome back to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. And as you saw by the thumbnail, we got some more bikes to sell. But let's talk about the last video I posted where I said I'm selling my collection. That's not a lie. I'm just not selling the entire collection all at once. I'm one guy, I cannot sell all of these bikes and expect to fulfill those orders in a timely manner. So, I sold four bikes. And now we're ready for round two. We've got five bikes. All I'm waiting on is some boxes to come and they should be here any day now from Amazon. So I'm able to actually fill those orders as they're made. Okay, here's how you buy the bikes. You go over to radbmxbuilds.com and you buy the bike. That's the only way to buy it. I don't sell it through Instagram or any other way. So make sure you buy them from the website. That's the only way. Okay. Now we got a few other things before we jump on the bikes and before I show you what bikes we're selling. We got some really cool stuff today, so let's check that out. Okay, the mail just showed up and we've got a lot of stuff today and I'm excited to share the mail with you because I got a few things, especially in this bag, that I wanna share with you that I think you're really gonna like. So let's open up the mail and see what the heck I'm even talking about. Okay, this is a new old stock Sagino 40 tooth chain ring, and this is gonna go on the Torker build. This did come from overseas, so pleasant surprise this showed up today. Let's open box number two. Okay, these are obviously fork standers and these are gonna be going on one of the new dyno builds that I got coming and I'm gonna show you more of that later. Okay, this white one is definitely the one I'm most excited about. Do not skip ahead, but let's move on to this one because this is a big one from Pork Chop, and then I believe these are some decals for an upcoming build. Let's rip these open and then I'm gonna show you the best package and you're gonna see why as soon as we get to it. So don't skip ahead, let's open up this one. Okay, I told you before I have two 24 inch dynos coming and they're gonna be full custom builds. So that's some of the parts for those. And this also is some parts for those. So let's get into this and see what it is. Dyno decals, power disc, seat, dice, frame standers, fork standers. That is going to be a build coming very soon. Two 24 inch dynos. Everyone seems to like my black one that I did. So I'm gonna do one in white and one in another color that I'm gonna go have powder coated. So my, make a comment down below. Let me know what color should I powder coat a 24 inch dyno? I'm thinking maybe neon yellow, maybe neon pink. I don't know, let me see your comments. All right, finally, thanks for waiting. Let's get into this bag. This is huge. I'm very excited to announce that I've partnered with Thrilla Crew to reveal to you some of their BMX edition clothing. Let's check it out. Okay, huge shout out to Thrilla Crew for sending me some of their new merch. 
This is the BMX edition t-shirt. I got one in white, one in black. And then it's that time of year for hoodies. A nice, soft, black hoodie with a really cool logo on the back depicting some of those guys from back in the day and their BMX bikes doing BMX stuff. And that is just the coolest. And you can get this at thrillacrewgear.com thrillacrewgear.com and you can find this right now on their website but it's limited so you're going to want to go get it immediately i'm going to link it right down below thank you again for that i can't wait to wear this stuff you'll see me wearing it in the future but let's get back to the video because i know you want to see these bikes that i'm getting ready to sell okay you want to know what i'm selling here it is right here you see it first on this video as soon as this video goes live, these will be on the website. So if you're watching this video and you want one of these bikes, they are live right now on the website. If you don't see them on there, they're already gone. Let's start first. A Huffy Sigma from 1986. A 1987 Hutch Pro Racer. A 20 inch Racing RA20. A Powerlight P61. And a Stu Thompson Quad Angle. Let's pull them out one by one and take a look at this lineup. Okay, all bikes that are listed for sale have to come with this announcement. Shipping is astronomical and costing me between $150 and $200 per bike to ship within the US. So all bikes are only shipped within the lower 48 states and shipping is included in the purchase price. So when you go to the website and you see that price, that's the price you pay. No added shipping, it's built in to that sale price. Okay, here it is, the 86 Huffy Sigma. Okay, this bike is in amazing condition for its year. This bike is an icon. It was not a great bike. It sold for $99 when it came out new and it was featured in the movie Mannequin. A lot of kids had this bike. If you didn't, you knew a kid that did, but it has SR pedals, which I thought was really cool. Comp 3 style tires, MX brakes, just a super rad bike. Laid back seat post. Is it of the greatest quality? Absolutely not. It's a Huffy, it's a tank. The wheels make noise. I've heard it all and I owned one back in the day. But now you can. I'm finally gonna let this loose out of my collection. Is it $99 now? Absolutely not. I'm not even gonna discuss the prices in this video. Everything you're gonna wanna know about these bikes will be in the posting on the website. So get over there if you want it. Next bike coming up. 1987 Hutch Pro Racer. Okay, this BMX legend, Loop Tail Pro Racer, is one everybody wanted back in the day. It is the same bike that Hollywood Mike Miranda raced. His was pink, this one's blue. Same type of bike. This bike does have a Velo seat, Hutch seat post and seat post clamp, MX-1000 brakes, Skyway Tough 2 wheels, chrome and white chain, white power disc, and a couple other little details like Hutch valve stem caps. It does have an old, I believe it's an ACS stem on it. Amy grips, it has the checkered donuts, the Hutch pad set, which these go uh, for like a hundred bucks easy just for the pads. It does have the Hutch Pro Racer bars as well on this bike. All right, getting the bike turned around, we can see now this is the perfect color blue. This is an OG ODI mushroom bearing cap. These sell for at least a hundred bucks all by themselves. These are very hard to come by. And I actually had it in my collection before I got the bike. And it was such a perfect match. It found its home on this bike. And it will come with this bike if you buy it. Everything you see down in the donuts, pads, everything, come on this bike. That is the 1987 Hutch Pro Racer. Up next, another loop tail bike, the RA20 Race Inc. build. This bike is one of the lightest bikes I have in 20 inch. It is an amazing bike in perfect brand new condition. I want to start off with the hubs. They're laser etched with Race Inc. on there and I think that is such a cool detail. These do have the Competition 3 tires, 
red alloy wheels, red alloy hubs, and even the acorn valve stem cap. A red headset, and then it does have a SE stem, but it has a race ink stem cap and headset in it. You come back here for the red accents, you do have a race ink seat post clamp, but then I added some extra parts on this bike, some Pro BMX three-piece cranks, black and chrome chain, MKS BM7 pedals, and I added the black Velo seat and the ODI mushroom grips with donuts. I also added the blue racing pad set, which these bikes don't come with. You have to find these pad sets if you want them, and they're not easy to get. So the brake cable, oh, what else did I add? Chain, tires, uh, pretty much everything on this bike has been... I don't know, customized, I guess, or replaced with other parts. So it's a really rad bike. This is really the way racing should have made this bike. It came with really ugly seat, really ugly grips, really ugly tires, really ugly one piece cranks. I mean, it just was not what it could have looked like. This is how I would have wanted one to come out of the box, but I made it that way myself and now it can be yours. If you want this race ink bike, it'll be at a really good price, I promise you. So it's available right now, if it's still there when you get there. Let's check out the next bike, the Powerlite. Okay, the Powerlite P61 from 1996. I just did a video on the build of this bike. This is a brand new bike build that I did. I bought this bike locally and then completely stripped it down and rebuilt the bike. GT hubs, which are really, really nice. Those alone are pretty costly. It's got some Comp 3 style knobby tires. I re-decaled it, added a Botima headset, polished out the really beautiful Powerlite stem, put a carbon fiber Botima stem cap on it, and then I added the red brake cable and the red sticky finger lever cover. These are GT grips because this is the power bend bars. And I like the way that grip worked with the bars. ODI bar end caps. I replaced the seat post clamp with a really cool power light seat post clamp, laid back seat post, and a velo seat. I re-decaled this entire bike with some older style power light decals, which I really like. They're very clean and I like the colors. So these are off of probably 1983, the decals, but I put them on this 1996 because I think they look better. Really nice power light sprocket, three piece cranks, and brand new black platform pedals with the black and chrome chain. Out back, I put brand new die comp brakes on it. These are cantilever brakes and they work really good. I'm gonna be honest. I've had several bikes with cantilever brakes and I've never really liked them. However, this is probably the best that I've got these brakes to ever work and I'm really shocked. They work really good. So has it got me rethinking it? Kind of. I just don't like the look of a cantilever brake. But this bike overall, super lightweight, pretty rare bars with the bend in them and especially with the GT hubs, this is a bike you're going to want. This is a ripper and the chrome is a um, just perfect. I love the chrome on it. I polished all of it out by hand. It was a labor of love, but this bike looks incredible. You will not be disappointed with this bike if you're one of the per if you're the person that picks it up off the website. Okay. Enough mumbling. Let's get to the last bike, the Stu Thompson Quad Angle, one of only 300 ever made. The one I built for my collection that I'm sadly gonna let go, but it could be yours. Let's pull it out and take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you one rad bike. This SE Racing Stu Thompson STR1 Quad Angle is truly a one of one. They made 300 of these bikes and I replaced a ton of parts to upgrade this bike. But I did keep the Stu Thompson signature grips, the Stompin' Stu donuts, and then I added on the iconic Desert Camouflage pads. These are really hard to find and they look amazing on this. If you know anything about the history of SE, that is the pad. 
Even has the Stu Thompson uh, stem cap and an SE stem, SE headset. Oh, I just love this bike, it's so good. Gold wheels, high flange hubs, custom SE valve stem caps, Comp 2 style big knobby tires. And then we come back, Stu Thompson used to run the Redline cranks. So I added Redline cranks to this bike and I added a gold Neptune Redline style sprocket to it and then some gold SE pedals. So when they made the bike, Todd Lyons said they couldn't get the Redline cranks because availability. Well, I went ahead now that they're available and put them on the bike that they should have been on to begin with. Come up here, I've added a gold seat post clamp, a gold and silver fluted seat post, and a very rare and hard to get SE collab with Viscount seat. I'm sorry, Cashamax. It's a Cashamax SE seat, that's my bad. So these seats, uh, sell for like 300 bucks, no joke. They're very hard to get. And this seat doesn't have a single scratch on it. This bike is brand new. It's absolutely perfect, nothing wrong with it. Swapped out the rear V-brakes for gold ones. Just all the gold you see on it, I added, along with the cranks and the pads and a few other small parts. But that is the Stu Thompson SE Quad Angle in baby blue and gold. I already sold the other one in the last batch. This is my second one and it's for sale. I've decided not to keep it, which was a hard decision to make to be real honest with you. So you can see I'm serious about this collection and getting rid of a lot of them. And you're asking, Sean, why are you doing that? Why would you get rid of all these bikes? Because it's time to get some more. And in order to do that, some have to go for some to come in. Also, I'm moving, and moving less bikes is easier. So, uh, I will be building some new bikes. Don't worry, I have four new bikes coming, so if I can get rid of these five, I look at it like I have one bike less. So, it works out pretty good. Okay, let's be serious. Five bikes I just showed you on the website right now. Get over there at radbmxbuilds.com if you want a bike. If you don't want a bike, grab yourself a shirt, hats, it's the season, get a hoodie. They come in the green. So I have a military line, green hat, green shirt, green hoodie. If you like the black, get it in black. If you like white, get it in white. Get over there, get yourself some merch, get a sticker, get something, help us out. If you don't get a bike this time around, don't worry. Maybe there's a round three coming. Anyways, stay rad and we'll see you in the next video.